Yo, 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 help fam show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just copying Charlie. It's right there. Bro. Ooh, there's some juicy content today, boy. Hey, it's real. It's real, baby. This yeah. is the Hill Fam show. This is a reality so. show. I'm sure some of you parents out there who have teenagers can relate to this. Oh, uh, here we go, here we go. And I'm not Domino. That's that OG, OG West Coast Domino. Let's go. Hey, welcome, Hill Fam show. Hill Fam show. Here we go. It's Sarah Nicole. We about to go to the boathouse and check it out. We meet in Brian Mac. We're coming through your bed to give us our respect. Yo, we packing through yo. We're gonna be on stage soon at the Lyric Theater. Coming through, you know, I be like Darth Vader. You are my son. We're representing today. We got the Hill Fan merch, KK's first scrimmage game. What? Let's go. Scan it. Scan it and subscribe it. <laughs> yo, let's go. Hey, check it out. It's gonna be a good day. Good day in sunny South Florida. It's not even sunny, it's cloudy. But check it out, it feels good. Feels Winter like weather, time. Christmassy weather. I'm gonna sing some fa la 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 la. Call me now, our gayest pharaoh. Is that what they say? Gayest pharaoh? <laughs> Somebody put the lyrics up in there. If you know the lyrics, yeah. call me now, our gayest pharaoh. Va la 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 Call me now I don't know what they're saying But it sounds like it could be like gay is like happy as Pharaoh I was thinking they're like gay is happy Oh you know you can enter there There's a sign right there You can keep going straight That's what I was doing Yeah I'm sorry. I got confused I got you know it's flawed Everything's all backwards sure. You got roundabouts and bouts of rounds and you know what I mean and you got you got a bunch of people who shouldn't be driving. You know, I'ma say it, the old folks. <laughs> and, and shouts out to the old folks for getting old <laughs> in this world. <laughs> but we looking for parking right now. How y'all doing? How you doing? We live up the road. You're just visiting. <laughs> so yeah, man, we in downtown Stewart. We're gonna go meet Mr. Brian Beck. One of my best friends, man. Me and him haven't seen each other since my birthday. Matter of fact, he's on my birthday. Wow, wait, wait. I see the guy. She almost hit him. She's lying. Oh, last night. Oh. On here. Beep that shit out. Don't try me. <laughs> you know, be like, beep, 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 beep. Yo, straight. Just go straight. I you. see. So we can walk and hold hands. Um, baby, you can't park in here. Because it's the waterfront parking and they're gonna tow your car. That's why. How would they know? Because the cameras and I wouldn't trust it because people are like, You're in Florida! Wait, I'm, I'm a really. Babe, I wouldn't park there. Because people like this guy right here would be, see you walk and go somewhere else and he's gonna be like, oh. They, oh, there, right there, parking just open over there. Around. Yo, Hill Fam Show. Yo, check it out. We are live. Yo, check it out. We at the boat house. We're about to meet Brian Beck. Welcome to the show. This is Sarah Nuggo. Yo, Drop check it out. Comment. Let me know, ladies. Does your man get really nervous and scared when you're driving? Because this boy right here, he be pissing me off when I'm driving. So, for now on, he's going to drive. Because I'm a passenger princess. <laughs> I don't want to drive anyway. Yo, we're hiring a chauffeur. <laughs> Yeah, last night, he hit a cone. <laughs> How did you not see it? It was there's right a, there, bro. Ooh, there's some juicy content today, boy. Hey, it's real. It's real, baby. This yeah. is the Hill Fam show. This is a reality go. show. Yeah, well, anyway, right, let's go. We're about to go eat. Anyway, she can't drive. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful outside, guys. It's like in the 60s, and yeah. we just pulled up to Boathouse. It's a waterfront dining restaurant in downtown Stewart. Beautiful day. Christmas. Um, Charlie's on the phone though before we go inside with Brian, his best friend. Um, he's talking to Tommy. The kids stepped up. You know, healthy co parenting up in here. Oh, this tree is so beautiful. Look how big it is. At nighttime, it's so pretty when it's lit. If someone sees me from far away, they can scan my barcode. Or on the back, I have it really big. Kevin, and this is what you would do with them. I wouldn't. Don't fuck. 
Hey, none of these kids come with a manual. Kids don't come with a manual. I wish they did. One of my one of my best buddies is one of my best buddies is, is the president. Come on down to four house and stewart. Come on down to four house and stewart. Come and try this. Mom plate two cheese. And this mac and cheese with the chicken in it. Black and chicken lady. Bust it. Get frozen. Here you go, you go Feels so nice out. He's Hawaiian, so he's not used to this weather. <laughs> Downtown Stewart. Goals for real. Especially when it's cold in Florida, it actually See, feels like Christmas. This is, this is, I can deal with this cold, but by the water, it's windy. Too windy. Oh yeah. Oh, Ooh, Kellens. I'm just kidding. I'm too full. What do you call it? Up in this uh, local distillery. It's owned and operated by this couple that does weightlifting. Pretty cool idea. It's a juice bar too. Should try him some whiskey shots. How the cook book. Come in the cook book. So inspiring. I've seen that before, but I think I see it because Bro, people be staying in unnecessary relationships just because they pay their rent. For real. This is like the cutest little place ever in downtown Stewart called Lush Lounge. They do uh, karaoke night on Mondays. And it's like a nightclub, a little nightclub at night. It's so cute in there. Look at him now, he's a star. Walking on the hall of star of fame. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go already. Hey! That's that is a badass. Suck my passenger prison. She'd be like, I'm driving. I want, I want that. That's flowing living right there. You can go anywhere in that thing. And I, I want the muffler coming up the top like that. <laughs> she would get sunburned. <laughs> She'd be red. Ever, ever in the whole life of history had a white mermaid. She'd or get a sunburn, a okay? <laughs> Ain't no Wow, no this mermaid. place is incredible. I'm oh my goodness. Hey, there's so much amazing things. I'm like afraid to knock something over. Look at the Popeye. Ooh, babe, when we get rich one day, I want that chandelier in the middle. Oh, yeah. I would like this in my closet. The detail on this. And the bulldog. What? So pretty. I like that purple one. <laughs> oh, I like this, the Lord's Supper. Look at the horse. Oh, look at that. Keep catching a frog. You, you know who has all these in their house? Mm -hmm. Wayne Heinzinger. He has these in his house. Who's that? All of his house. The old, the old family. Who is that? No way. Huh? Oh, that's dope. That's gonna be me when I'm 80. <laughs> With a bunch of Botox. I'll never get old. Hey, look, he has these statues in the house, and when you walk in, it's spooky. 
The one in the house of Mom's in <laughs> When you walk in, you're like, yeah, my my mom um, and my aunt, you know those porcelain dolls? Mm -hmm. I used to get scared of those. This is so cute though. Alright guys, so Brian just left. We're about to go get ready to go to KK's game. Go Kate! Go Kate! Go, Kate, go Lady Kate! Lady Kate! I'm gonna break ankles real quick. Documenting the graffiti. Look at the pink on the train. Look at this one. That's pink graffiti. That was fucking Yo, 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 help fam show. <laughs> I'm just copying Charlie. Um, so <laughs> we're about to go to KK school because she has her go next scrimmage board. game. Um, her last scrimmage they did lose, but it was good practice and it wasn't an official game. So this is good. I think her real first game is January 11th. But we're gonna vlog this scrimmage and bring you guys along and see how KK does. I'm trying to get her ready for the real game, and uh, she gonna kick. Five on five. So. It's gonna be a learning experience and we're gonna take you on the journey as long as she's playing, you know. If she gets into gymnastics again, then we're gonna go do gymnastics. If she wants to do something else, we're gonna do something else, all right? Yeah, something that um, I wanted to mention. I'm sure some of you parents out there who have teenagers can relate to this. Um, you know, sometimes you bump heads with teenagers. They get a little attitude, they change their mind on things. One minute they're gonna like the color pink, next minute they're gonna like the color black. So you just have to roll with the punches and love your kids no matter what. Learn how to communicate with them um, because they just don't know how to express themselves yet 100%. So everything's about communication and trying to live in harmony and peace um, and supporting and loving them no matter what their interests are. That's like a very common thing that I see parents do is um, they try to push their dreams and their vision for their kids on their, on their kids. But sometimes... You're, the kids don't want what we want and it's hard to accept that and grasp it but we're figuring it out we're learning this whole cold parenting thing um, just raising teenagers so drop a comment if you guys can relate to that at the end of the day you gotta understand that it's your life and then they have their lives too that they're gonna be living and you ain't gonna be living their lives at the end of the day you can't you cannot dictate what your kid is going to be and what he's going to become or what they want to do because at the end of the day they are their own person mm -hmm. you can just shape them and show them the direction that you feel that they should go to but with that be open-minded that you know not every way is right you know your way might not just be the right um way for that person and the type of life they decide to live you know so you got to be respectful and mindful of that and just watch watch out for other people's people's feelings you know in it and for to piggyback off what he was just saying in our house we try to pray for god's will to be done in our lives not just what we want because ultimately god is in control and we know he has best plans for us more than we can even imagine so that's our goal just to keep praying for our family and it works, prayer works. So if you haven't tried that yet, actually try. Have a mustard seed of faith. It works, I promise. And believe in it. Believe in it and make sure it's according to God's will, of course. Like you can't pray for something that God is obviously not okay with. But um, prayer works and faith works. Just keep on keeping on, you know? Family is not easy sometimes, raising teenagers. So we're all figuring this out together. But anyways, on a more positive note, we are on our way to the game. And we're about to have so much fun, so we'll bring you guys along. We just got to her school. We're about to go inside to watch KK's game. But yeah, babe, um, they have those PJ pants that Makai's wearing at Walmart for $10. We should get some for the trip. Cold. Look how tall Makai got compared to Charlie. It's crazy. Good evening, Good evening girls, girls, boy. Boy. Welcome to the Eye of the Storm as your Southport Lady Kings take on Paul Point. That is Students, small please to remember that this is a school event. So Number one, KK. 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 Yeah! Yeah! 
Let, let work around. <laughs> Thank you.